Wowie, so we are right in the bush here uh, at the Clarou Farm in Castleman and I'm joined now with LA and Clarou and we are tapping the tree here this morning. Is that what, uh, what's going on? Yeah. So how does this work? Well, basically we just make a, a hole on an, a little bit of an angle mm -hmm. and uh, from there we we make sure that we don't split the tree so you don't when you're tapping it yeah you don't hit it too hard okay just as as soon as you you hear it and just different sound uh when you, you you hit the just the right place so they basically that's it and uh and you guys have an automated system here yeah, so it's yeah. very high tech and new it, i can see it's all done by line so yeah. how does this operation actually work it's a pipeline mm -hmm. and uh for, this is the end of the line so okay. basically what it works this is a five five sixteen uh pipe yeah and uh it goes in the the, the sap goes into it because Flows there's a through. vacuum okay so it sucks the the the, the, the sap from the tree and then it goes in the, in the tube yep. it comes here and then we go to the next one. Oh, and it does the same thing yeah so okay. what we do we we tap it tap it again yep and you can see that it starts to to leak okay so the, it means uh today it could uh is if the day. temperature is right it, there could be more sap coming out There's and you were saying you have to be very particular on when you're tapping these trees each season because last year was a very short season very this year short. started early so maybe yeah. talk about that so a little bit if if you start too late to too late to tap what's gonna happen is you you might miss the the season or and if you start uh, too early it can yeah. dry up you were saying if, if it's too too early uh, uh you could dry the 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 the, the, the hole and uh, some if big big outfits uh, like a uh, hundred thousand tap, they, yep. they they start in in January. Okay. And uh, they have no choice because it's a big big place. But us, we started around uh, February. Yeah. Uh, at the end of February. And how yeah. do you know when to start? Because it changes each season. Is it Very, kind of tracking the weather and? Yeah, we look at the. We listen to the news. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> and uh, usually, uh, when we see that the next and uh, the next following week, it's gonna get to uh, minus five during the night and plus five during so the day. So you want kind of cold at night and warm in the day. Yeah, still, yeah. that's kind of the key. Yeah, ingredient. it has to freeze during the night. And I mean, you have a huge operation here. Maybe talk about how many acres you guys have here. Yeah. We have 200 acres, but we only tap about uh, 2,700. Uh, 20, 2700. Only 2,700 trees. Yeah. That seems incredible and absolutely yeah. massive. Yeah. No wonder you have a pipeline. If you were doing that manually, I'm sure it would take hours. Oh yes, it takes about, for us there, we take about a, a day and a half to tap uh, those 2,700 trees. Wow. And this year we had to use uh, snowshoes, which yeah. we didn't have. Well, there's the last, so much snow, right? The last two years, yeah. Fantastic. And what are some of the products you make? We're actually going to be learning a bit more about uh, other things you guys to do here besides just tapping the trees. You also make tons of maple syrup candy yeah. and cotton candy, I hear. Yeah, uh, we do uh, all kinds of, uh, of under product. Yeah. So we take Fantastic. the maple syrup and we transform it in uh, sugar, uh, butter, taffy. Mm. Um, uh, well, my mouth is yeah, watering. I can't about, wait. Uh, I would say ten different kind of. Uh, uh, which we, we're going to see li probably uh, later on. Fantastic. All yeah. right. Well, uh, stay with us. We have lots more to come here on CTV Morning Live. Mm -hmm. And coming up, we're going to go into the Sugar Shack and uh, make all sorts of delicious maple syrup goodies. Yeah.